In this lecture, we are going to learn how to install the Haskell compiler and cabal on Windows. So join me in your command prompt application in administrator mode. So you can search for your command prompt and run it as an administrator. You can right click on it and select run as administrator. You'll get the message, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? You select yes, and then the app will open up. Here we are going to use the command prompt to install Haskell compiler and cabal. And we have to run in administrator mode so that way we can install these packages with Chocolatey. So this assumes you have Chocolatey installed on your computer. Chocolatey is a popular package manager for Windows. You can access it with Choco if you have it installed. And in order to use Chocolatey, you'll have to be in a PowerShell or in the command prompt as an administrator. Then you can use the install keyword to install GHC and Cabal. These are two packages, the Glasgow Haskell compiler to read Haskell and the Cabal package as well. So we can hit enter and Chocolatey is going to install the following packages. By installing, you accept licenses for the packages. And this package wants to run chocolatey install.ps1. If you don't run this script, the installation will fail. You can automatically do this next time by adding the dash Y flag to your command. Do you want to run the script? We are going to select Y for yes. You can also select A for all. This is going to download Cabal 64-bit because I have a 64-bit version of Windows. Likely, you'll see 64-bit as well because that's the most common newer type of Windows computers. You can also check what version of bit you have, 32 or 64, just by searching up bit in your search bar on your computer and make sure that the bit version matches up with your computer, which it likely will. So here we're downloading Cabal and the environment variables have changed. That is a good sign because it means we can access Cabal and GHC as a variable in our command prompt. But to access those new variables, we have to reopen the command prompt or run the command refresh env to refresh the changes and get those new variables. So we can scroll down and we get another message. The GHC package needs to run a script. So we hit yet Y for yes. Again, you could just hit A for all. This is going to download GHC, the Glasgow Haskell compiler, which will allow us to write Haskell scripts and then compile them or read them. So that way they can be read and used. So that is going to download GHC. Commonly, if you're using Cabal, you need GHC as well. So that's why we install both at once. So let's allow for the extraction of the GHC installer to work. Remember, Chocolatey is doing all the work for us here as our package manager for Windows. Chocolatey installed for us Cabal, and now it is going through GHC, the Glasgow Haskell compiler. And we get the message that we have downloaded the package and the path environment variable will be changed. That is great. We want to be able to access GHC via our variables. So now we can check if we have our variables. So first we can call refresh env or just restart the terminal. This will refresh your environment variables. So then you can use GHC. You can check if you have it. All right, so we have GHC 9.2.2. You can check your version directly as well with a flag. Okay, so we have the glorious Glasgow Haskell compilation system version 9.2.2. We can also check Cabal. Can we access it? For Cabal, you actually have to directly access a command or a flag like the version. So don't be afraid if you see no command given. This just means you can access Cabal, but you didn't give it a command. So it just means Cabal exists, but you didn't give it a command. So if you can give it a command or a flag like version, and we see the version that we have. So if you see these messages, it means you have installed the Haskell compiler and Cabal. If you see an error message, try restarting your terminal, restarting your computer. Try making sure that the packages were added to your environment variables or try the installation again. This is not the only way to install the Glasgow Haskell compiler and Cabal. You can also get it via the Cardano CLI and other methods, but Chocolatey is a very popular method for installation. If you liked this video, then go to training.mammothinteractive.com. We have tons more content on blockchain, web development, 
machine learning, and much more. We also have a membership for just $19 a month where you can get access to our 372 course bundle and counting.